Mr. Watson, come here. Supposedly the very first telephone call. It was made by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876 but the year before, he made the crucial breakthrough. Namely, that you could transmit more than just a single note electromagnetically, you could transmit whole sounds. And he did it using this gallo-framed telephone, a vibrating reed against a diaphragm. The telephone was born. Up until as recently as the 1970s, telephone calls were connected by a copper wire from your house all the way to a local telephone exchange like this, manned by, invariably, women, who would connect your call into the socket of another household. Hey presto, you could chat. But the post office believed correctly that people couldn't remember long telephone numbers. So instead, everyone had a code. There were hundreds in London, and my one in North London was Canonbury. C-A-N. And to this day, I still have 226 in my telephone number. This can lay claim to being the very first mobile phone. It was used in the 1930s by a Brighton police station to speak to bobbies on the beat. Though it was one way. If the policeman wanted to speak to the station, they had to go and find a pay phone. But hey, it was a start and it led to this beauty, which is Britain's very first mobile phone, not using radio waves, using an analog cellular network and it was launched in 1985. Maggie Thatcher liberalised the telephone market in the 1980s and that allowed for the first time competition and on the 1st of January 1985, Vodafone made the first call. I particularly love this 1986 XL model, designed for the first time to fit into a shirt pocket. Don't laugh, it's not much bigger than an iPhone 6. The story ends, for now at least, with the smartphone. Little mini computers in your pocket. And to make a telephone call, you use a digital network. Though ironically, not many people use these things to speak to one another. They mostly use them to send messages, search for information, or watch little videos, like this one. <laughs>